Good day, Kamaterific! Samahan nyo ako ulit ngayon para tuklasin natin ang bago nating lesson. And our lesson for today is Solving routine and non-routine problems involving multiplication of whole numbers including money using appropriate problem solving strategies and tools. Let's read and analyze the problem below. Ashtar bought 11 cans of orange juice that cost 124 pesos each. How much did he spend for the orange juice? Let us solve the problem using the four-step plan. Number one is understand. Under understand, know what is asked. asked. So how much did he spend for the orange juice? Number two is plan. Under plan, we have to determine the operation to be used, which is multiplication. And write the number sentence. So 124 times 11 equals N. And number three, solve. Show your solution. So 124 times 11 is equals to 1,364. Check and look back. Check your answer. Ask yourself if your answer is possible. You can simply go back to the solution. Then write the final answer. So Ashtar spent 1,364 for the orange juice. Let us have another example. Read the problem below. Four persons can sit at a square table how many persons can sit at seven square table placed end to end? Solution. To solve this question, you may draw a picture of a square table. We have seven square table. So let us count. One, two, three, four, five, six. 7 square table then let us count how many person can sit at a square table 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14, 15, 16. So the answer is 16 persons. Let us have another example. Yasmin was playing a number game. She picked a number and added 4. Then she multiplied by 5. Last, she subtracted 8. The result was 62. What number did Jasmine pick? To solve this problem, you can use the word backward strategy. In this example, since 62 is the result, you can start with that number. Then get the opposite of all operation in that problem. For example, if it is subtraction, use addition. So 62 plus 8 equals 70. Then if it is multiplication, use division. So 70 divided by 5 equals 14 then 
if it is addition use subtraction so 14 minus 4 equals 10 10 is the answer so you can check your answer by going back to the given problem remember the first problem is an example of routine problem routine problems can be solved using the four step plan first is understand next plan next solve and check and look back the second and third problems are examples of non-routine problems Non-routine problems are most concerned with developing people's mathematical reasoning power and fostering the understanding that mathematics is a creative endeavor. They can be solved using drawing, number line, making a table, guess and check, drawing or diagram, using patterns, working backward, acting out and others now let us read and analyze and solve each problem so get your ball pen and notebook then answer the following problems 